Kyle, thanks for coming back again today. I appreciate you yeah. uh, hopping back on a call and having a conversation as we continue down this road of talking about what it means to go the extra mile to help promote racial equity. Um, mm. And uh, man, as we were talking yesterday, one of my one of the things that really stood out to me around this conversation of unity was how prevalent it was for even Jesus and his followers and how at times mm. there were probably disagreements because of the backgrounds those people came from. You know, I yeah. think of I think of like Peter who was a fisherman. I think of a guy named Judas who was the zealot, not Judas Iscariot, the betrayer, but another mm -hmm. Judas who followed Jesus as well, who was known as a zealot, uh, which was a political ideology of the day. And then you have this guy named Levi or Matthew, who was a tax mm -hmm. collector who worked for the Roman occupation that was oppressing the Jewish people. And we find this story in Luke 5, chapter, Luke chapter 5, verses 27 through 32, where it says this. It says, after this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. And Jesus said, follow me. And Levi got up and left everything and followed him. Mm. That, man, that part right there at the beginning of Luke 5, 27 through 32, I think is so huge. Is yeah. the, the idea that Levi, who was this guy who was probably on a very different political scale than everyone mm -hmm. else was still invited into community yeah and while it's not necessarily a race thing there it's definitely something that i think is important for us as we look through this conversation about mm -hmm. living life with people who look and think differently than us mm -hmm. uh, yeah. i think that's what makes the body of christ so beautiful is that mm -hmm. we are we are a diverse group of believers both from how we view the world politically to even uh, our DNA and our personal makeup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what the color of our skin looks like. And so, uh, Markel, what do you, how, how would you say we should promote uh, living with, living in community with people who look differently than us? Sure. I think you said it kind of beautifully. It, it's not a race issue, but it, I think it is contrary to human nature to what Jesus did. So like, you know, just paint the picture very vividly. You know, you got a zealot rolling around with Jesus, who right. is 100% against like the empire of the day. Yeah. You know, he's expecting Jesus to come and topple the Roman Empire. He's expecting for Caesar to be, you know, vanquished, if you will, <laughs> uh, for Jesus to be the guy that's going to sit on the throne, he's going to reign supreme, yeah. he's going to bring, you know, his people back into a position of authority and rule and maybe even oppress the Romans who were oppressing them. I mean, like, so you have this guy, um, you know, you can almost say like th this extreme activist, if you will, who's looking for complete structural change. And he is held just as equally important because he's, in the, he's, he's one of the disciples to Jesus um, as Levi, who's a tax collector. And that's something we obviously know, but like, let's think about it. Levi, he works for the Roman government. Right? right. He's the guy that other Jews really, really hate because he's almost like a um, uh, a traitor, if you will. He went over to the other side to work for the very government that's oppressing the people. And so, yeah. like, let's really think about this. On the left of Jesus, you have someone who's a radical uh, activist who wants to see the government toppled. And to the right of Jesus, you have this guy who worked and submitted to the rule of Caesar and the government. And just that idea of, like, Jesus is bringing together people, not just people who don't look like him, but people who have radically different views of the world. Yeah. Like that's really important to understand. I think as a human being, it's easy for me to practice homogeny. It is so easy for me to practice homogeny. I, as an African-American, feel way more comfortable sitting around, being around, talking with other African-Americans, people who are in my socioeconomic um, makeup. Those are the people I want to be around. Right. Who, you know, and I know white people who think the exact same thing. And I know, you know, uh, people, other people that think the exact same thing. It is in our human DNA to want to kind of live in homogeny. But homogeny is where community goes to die. It yeah. really is. When Jesus brings people into the fold of the gospel, when he brings together his disciples, he's like, okay, I want 
you, who obviously had a very different view than Levi, and I want the other guy who doesn't have any kind of common sense for what religion really is, and I want a guy who really wants to chase after me, but doesn't, his actions don't always line up with that, and I want this poetic guy, and I mean, like, he really begins to draw out 12 succinctly um, different individuals. Yeah. And the beauty of it is, is that right before Jesus is, is preparing to give his life over in the upper room, uh, when he's having, when, you know, the, the disciples are having the Lord's Supper, all 12 gods plus Jesus, um, with all of their different backgrounds, with mm-hmm. all of their different viewpoints, they're all sitting at the same table. Yeah. They're all taking the same supper. They're all, you know, in love with this same guy, with Jesus Christ, you know, arguably, you know, Judas excluded, you know. So what does that tell me? We can sit at the same table. Yeah, we can, we can sit at the same table and disagree with one another. We can sit at the same table. Exactly. And look I had differently than one there. another. No, you're good. Uh, but, dude, that's, that's such a beautiful point is that, and I think that's the landing for today is that if we really want to go the extra mile to be a diverse body of believers who Mm -hmm. uh where everyone is welcome and we celebrate our differences man that that starts with asking kind of the hard question at times is who is missing from my table well markel once again thank you so much really appreciated this all right thanks sir thanks